When I've been joined by Mimuna Ibrahim in St. Gerald's Catholic Hospital, Kaduna State, she is a survivor of the Abuja Kaduna Real Services terror attack. Good morning, Mimuna. Thank you for joining us. Good morning. Hello, good morning. Good morning. Thank you for joining us. How yes, are you? I'm... I hope you are much better. I'm fine. Yes, I'm feeling better. Okay, what level of support have you uh, been able to receive? All of you who are in the uh, hospital there, I hope nobody is asking you to come and pay uh, for treatment and, you know, who and who has visited this particular hospital. Yes, nobody asked us to pay anything for now because the government has already cleared all our medical expenses. Well, I'm really sorry for, you know, what you're experiencing, but can you just take us through your whole story? You were on the Abuja Kaduna train. Just tell us why you were going to Kaduna. Just really give us all the details because this could really have been anybody. Thousands of people go between Kaduna and Abuja yes. daily, back and forth. Why were you on that train and what happened? Uh, I went to Abuja in the morning. I followed the 640 train in the morning to Abuja. I went to s submit my CV in one organization there in Kaduna, in Abuja, sorry. And I followed the 627 train. That's the evening train to come back to Kaduna. We were 20 minutes away from Kaduna when the incident ha happened. As we were moving, we had something like a bomb, but I don't know if it was really a bomb or something. Then the train didn't stop immediately. It continues moving until, but there were gunshots all over, both left and right. The terrorists were busy shooting, unstoppable shooting, until the train finally stopped and they're now off the light in the train. But the lights, the, the only light that got off was one in my coach 20, because I was in coach 20. So, hello? Well, with you, Memona, do you carry on. Okay. Okay, they were busy shooting the windows. They, tr they managed to break the windows and they entered to... They entered, I don't know if you, it, was, it, it was through the window or it's through the door. They entered to coach 17. They abducted many people there. But I, was, I got shot in my leg. I think it's the flying bullet. I did not even notice it was a shot as of that time because I did not even feel the pain because of what was going on. I did not even know where I was, but I did not notice it was my leg that got shot. I was thinking maybe it's my neighbor that got shot in the train. We lie down on the floor because the security in the train asked us to lie down and off our phone, that we should not press our phone and we should not talk. So when the terrorists were busy abducting the passengers in coach 17 and the VIP section, I saw them, they were like three or four in the train, but I don't know how many were outside. 